Hello everybody, I'm glad you're here today. Today is March 26, 2024. In this video, I'm bringing you a dream and I'm bringing you a word I received from God this morning as I was in worship. Now then, uh, y'all have been like rock stars and praying for me while I've been sick. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Things are better now. Thanks to Allegra D and Jesus Christ. I mean, Allegra D, y'all probably ought to get that on your shelf. Just saying that was the thing that helped me probably the most. Now, in this dream that my daughter had, I'm just going to get right into it, y'all. Right into it. Uh, first and foremost, you need to know that we are coming from everything on this channel as believers in Jesus Christ as the Son of God. If you do not believe Jesus is the Son of God, now is the time to find out who he is, what he's done for you, what sin is, and how to repent from it, and turn to him and believe because he forgives your sin. Sin separates you from God. But when you believe in Jesus Christ, he is the bridge that connects us to the Father God. Okay? He is God, the Son, that connects us to God, the Father. And then inside of us, we are given the Holy Spirit, which is God's Spirit. So, those are the things you might need to explore and commit to. Because things in this world are like... I, should I say going to hell in a handbasket? I don't know how else to say it. And y'all, it's crazy out there right now. Now, I will say this. In this dream I'm about to bring you, uh, it has a moment in it that makes you go, do you know how you have those moments and you get goosebumps? Like, oh my goodness, this dream has one of those moments. All right? So I'm going to get right to it and just bring you this dream. Uh, my daughter's 29, she's an RN, and she dreams this kind of dream, somewhat apocalyptic. The interesting thing about this is she had it during her nap, an extremely vivid dream, and we're going to attribute it to God. If it's not from God, so what? We're looking at him and trying to do the best we can. Uh, you know, if he, if I come face to face with God, he said, Hey girl, none of those dreams were from me. I'm going to say, well, I'm sorry about that. He said, oh, that's okay. You were doing stuff. I knew I could work with one way or the other. Tell people that Jesus is my son. So that's where I'm at on these dreams. We believe they are from God. You need to decide for yourself through the Holy Spirit. Okay. Here's how the dream began. She dreamt she was in the backyard of our church house. We li used to live in a parsonage. And she looked up, and it was nighttime, she looked up and saw a blue light streak across the sky. It was bright and loud. Not like an explosion, but it had a loud noise to it, like an LED blue light. She knew it was a vessel carrying people, not aliens. And I was with her, and I said, it's supposed to be a military plane or ship with paratroopers. But we were both skeptical, like, They've told us one thing, but what we're seeing doesn't line up with that. This doesn't square up. That's what it felt like. So we, we looked down the street. It was daytime now. And we saw a low ship and paratroopers jumping out. And we were concerned that this was happening in our little bitty country town that we live in, in the Panhandle of Texas, of all places. And at this point, uh, she looked at her Snapchat and she saw this message from Arasha, uh, a person named Arasha from Smosh, which is um, a thing with, like, you know. Uh, and, and she said that this Arasha made a Snapchat of this thing in the sky, that she saw it too, then that she was in the state of Rhode Island. So it was being seen, she was being concerned that it was being seen all the way from the Panhandle of Texas, all the way to the coast of Rhode Island, in Rhode Island. So, it was at this point that she and I went into the garage, and we had a bunny rabbit in a small cage, and a carrier pigeon in a larger one. And we went uh, to the backyard, and on the telephone wire that went across our backyard, there was a bald eagle in its nest, balancing on the wire. Now we had the carrier pigeon with us and we released it. it. It it had a lot of its feathers were not even on it. 
but we we released it we didn't care or notice about the feathers and there really wasn't a place it was supposed to go or a message that we put with it except maybe to her grandparents nan and g daddy right that that were across town um but yeah there was no sense of of sending it we just let it fly when we released it as soon as it went up into the air we saw the bald eagle swoop down and caught it in its claws. I said, she said to me, I guess we shouldn't have released it with the eagle so near, but now at least the bunny rabbit could be in the bigger cage. Then, um, it was, it was back to be in nighttime and this blue vessel had left this thing outside uh, in the front of our house on the corner next to the sign of the church that we went to. So there was a, a church sign right there because our house was right next to the church building. And this thing was in the ground. It was a long pole kind of thing that was bigger bowed at the top than at the bottom. And it was bright, bright blue, really big. Bright blue, like an LED light, blue, glowing kind of thing. Now, Mike, her dad, uh, my husband, said he wondered if it was meant for Amarella, which we automatically knew was Pantex. Uh, so we worried it, that it was some sort of an explos explosive. Mike went outside and uh, he would he wanted to look at it. We didn't want him to, but he did anyway. And when he came back, he was different. Can't explain it, but he was just different. And Taylor, Taylor told me uh, that she didn't want to sleep in her own room because it was close to that thing that was in the yard. Uh, so I told her she could come uh, sleep in our room uh, because I didn't think that Mike was going to sleep that night. So when she came into our room in a little bit, Mike came in and got in bed and went to sleep. And I was in bed and went to sleep. And that was the end of the dream. So here's my takeaway from this, from this dream. First and foremost, I think if you were to put a, a word to this, I think it would be changes are coming. Ch big changes are coming in our nation. All right. I'll give you a little background here. Um, we don't have bald eagles in our area. Okay, we live in the Panhandle of Texas, and um, Rhode Island is the 13th state, was the 13th uh, colony. Interesting little side note. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. But overall, I think it is talking about there are things that are going to happen that we are going to question whether they are real or not real, whether it's what they're telling us is, is happening or not telling us. And I think it's going to be military, military related. And I don't know what that blue light was that went. I don't know what that was, y'all. Y'all tell me what you think it was. Um, is it an AI thing? Is it a cyber attack thing? Um, the metal, all the metal vessels and things in it. I wondered if that represented AI. I will say this. There are things coming out in the UK right now that have to do with the royal family and AI that I flat think are lies. All right? I'm going to leave it at that. And if you're like, I don't know what you're talking about, Gina, that's okay. <laughs> it's, it's, far, it doesn't, it's not that big a deal. But the thing about AI is we are going to have to dig deep in the Holy Spirit to discern what is truth and what is not true. All right? So that's what I wondered about this whole thing. The eagle on the telephone wire swooping down. First of all, a homing pigeon is a, communica a communication device. But look, it was already looking. Its, its feathers were out. That's not good. It means like it's kind of blinky communication anyway. The eagle, I think, is the United States of America. Balancing on a telephone wire, okay, that speaks volumes about what's going to happen with our communication system. 
I'll leave that with you. Those of you who are gifted in interpretation, please put in the comment section what you are sensing in this dream. I'm begging you because I'm kind of clumsy with this, in my opinion. All right. So the bunny in the bigger ch in the bigger cage. I don't know what that means other than man, you can eat rabbits. That's a form of provision, and a rabbit's going to be healthier in a bigger cage than a little cage. I don't know if that's what that means, but that's or scared as rabbits. Okay, I know uh, rabbits are kind of, um, I know they're cute and soft, but they're kind of useless, except if you're going to eat them. I, th that's my thought. What is yours? What is yours? Now then, the thing that was stuck in our front yard that we thought was meant for Pantex, which is where they build nuclear weapons, all right? It's outside of Amarella, all right? So, uh, I think maybe that means Pantex is a target and that whatever is released, whatever's coming, uh, may or may not. I mean, it, it made my husband different because I think now my husband, it wasn't a zombie or a, a, a demon possession or anything like that. I think he, he understood the truth of it. He went out and checked it. And I think uh, to me, I wonder if he, this represents, I saw it with my own eyes, and it's pretty sobering, and it's going to change everything. I just wonder that. Uh, the bedroom and all being in the bedroom together, I think, has maybe two meanings. First, a bedroom is where you rest and are revived, and also we were all there together, meaning we need to join in as a group and gather together where it's safe and familiar and with each other i i mean that's the best that's the best i got on that y'all y'all tell me what you think now this is the word i got this morning um let me take a drink hang on and as i was writing it down i really didn't think it went with the dream but then i thought yeah it does i wonder if it does y'all tell me uh, now, Mar this is March 26, 2024, so I get up and worship in the morning. I'm not just, like, getting up and writing something down. There are mornings that I don't hear anything in the Lord, and, you know, y'all have to filter this. I think it's from the Lord, but you may not. And there may be sentences in this that you're like, yeah, that's from God, but not all of it is, because we only hear in part now. And I'm not making that up. That's in 1 Corinthians 13. We only prophesy in part and see in part until the perfect comes. And that's Jesus. So that's the best we got, y'all. That's the best we got right now. Which is okay. Because it increases our faith in Jesus, which is the ultimate goal. Repentance, the good news of Christ, salvation, faith, love. All right. Now, March 26, 2024. Here's what I wrote down. Child, you ask about AI, so I will tell you. Lies. It is, as it is called, artificial, not real. It will be used against my children, but as you see, so I shall tell you. This is real, but this is not. No matter how loud the world screams, believe this, it is real, it is true. I will whisper in your spirit, no. For if you ask, I will tell you, fear not these days you are in now. Instead, let my spirit in you guide all your ways. Truth is no longer what you think it is. These days you are living are meant to divide. So who are my are meant to divide? Who are mine? Who are the enemies? Stay alert, be aware, question everything. Ask me at all times, what is the truth here? And I will answer, AI is the great deception meant to be used against you in many ways. So I tell you now, for the world is about to be swallowed up into this madness. I tell you now, believe only those you know. For you will see many images of this and that, I will be your truth radar, for I will be all you have. Oh, how the evil one has uh, has lulled so many to sleep. 
I tell you the truth, the time is upon you. Know me if you want truth, for the lies are on the verge of sweeping down and destroying all who are asleep. Watch and warn, be alert, be aware, know my voice, for I, your God, will save you. Now then, um, as I was reading that, I began to just go through the Bible and read all the different things about the end times in uh in Timothy and in First Second Thessalonians and in Second Peter, all those passages, okay? And I will I will just say when you look at the second uh, second Thessalonians three uh, I'm sorry, Second Thessalonians two chapter about end times in the last days. It's talking about many things, and you can just go read that chapter yourself. But what I noticed, what stuck out to me, was starting in verse 9. This man will come a great... Um, so, uh, let's see, I really don't want to... I don't know. Uh, we'll just start here. Uh, don't be fooled by what they say. We'll start in verse 3. For that day will not come until there is a great rebellion. That means the coming of Christ will not come until there is a great rebellion, rebellion against God and the man of lawlessness is revealed, the one who brings destruction. He will exalt himself and defy everything that people call God and every object of worship. He will sit in the temple of God claiming that he himself is God. Don't you remember what I told you about all this when I was with you? Paul's like, hey, gang, don't you remember? I, we went over this. And you know what is holding him back. For he can be revealed only when his time comes. For this lawlessness is already at work secretly, and it will remain secret until the one who is holding it back steps out of the way. Y'all, this lawlessness started 2,000 years ago, secretly. And so... When the Lord says, hey, girl, like he tells me, you don't have to put all the dots together. This is evil stuff going on in the background. It's secret. You don't need to know about it. What you need to know is truth. I am truth. Have faith in me. That's what the Lord keeps saying to me. Then the man of lawlessness will be revealed. But the Lord Jesus will slay him with the breath of his mouth and destroy him by the splendor of his coming. So basically, Jesus can go, and we're good. So we don't need to fear this guy. All right? The Lord's got this. However, it's going to go down. I'm not a big educated student on that. But I know the Lord's got it. And I don't know all the answers to the return of Christ. I don't have all the dates. I don't even care. If you care, that's fine. You're probably meant to care. I am not. I'm ready when the Lord comes, however he comes, Pre-trip, post-trip, in-trip, up-trip. I don't really care. I'll endure whatever I got to do for the Lord. All right? So that's where I'm at until he comes or until I die. I'm good. I'm ready. And so if you don't roll that way, that's okay. That's okay. You know, I, I, you can, if you need to noodle it out and you're called to do that, great. I'm not. All right. So go to another channel if you want to pick, pick that apart. That's not here. What I'm telling you is the Lord will end it all with one breath. This man will come to do the work of Satan with counterfeit power and signs and miracles. I think AI is counterfeit, y'all. And I look at videos that come out of UK and I think that ain't real. That's not real. I don't know what it is. That picture's not real. He will use every kind of evil deception to fool those on their way to destruction because they refuse to love and accept the truth that would save them. So God will cause them to be greatly deceived and they will believe these lies. And y'all, I think they're going to want us to believe them too. And that's what the Lord say. You need to ask me. I will tell you the truth. He is the truth. Then they will be condemned for enjoying evil rather than believing the truth. So what I'm saying, y'all, that struck me yesterday, really, literally, what time is it? Probably about 12 hours ago. I thought, oh, this AI stuff, I don't think it's all bad. I truly don't. I think there are good things that will come from AI. But in regards to what our governments put out, and what messages they want us to believe, we're going to have to question everything. And that makes me tired all over. 
Y'all, that makes me tired all over thinking about that. But our Lord is is big, okay? And he's going to sustain me. And maybe that's why we ended up this dream in the bedroom that Gina was tired and he'd go to bed. But the Lord is going to revive me and take care of me. And he will you too. You're not alone in this journey, this life. We are meant to be alive right now. I've said it before on videos. The Lord could have had me be born in Egypt during the plagues or in World War I or whatever, but the Lord chose me to be here now. And you too. For such a time as this. Y'all go read Esther. Man, when I was sick, I was reading Esther. I was like, wow, man, this is a good read. Y'all go read that. I mean, really. For such a time as this to the Lord's purpose. And whatever he wants to do with me, he'll do. I'm good. I'm going. I'll do. I'll roll whatever he shows me. But what I'm telling you is the lies are going to be deep and wide and and shockingly the amount of pressure being put on us to believe what is put out there. There will be an emotional pull at your heart to believe it and shame on you if you don't. You're a troll. That's that, that's what is the narrative now, if you listen. And the Lord's telling me to question everything. Now, I don't have to spout it off and be loud about it. But he will tell me, no, that's not real. And when I looked at a certain video that came out just a few days ago, I, did, I, I didn't even know what it, what it was fixing to be said. I looked at it and thought, that ain't real. That and, I, and it came from the innermost part of my being. That's a lie. However that rolls, however that turns out, I may never know the truth of that one way or the other. doesn't matter. Be careful, y'all. Be alert. Be alert. April 8th, the eclipse. Be ready. I don't think, I think that day's going to come and go. And everything's probably going to be just the same as it was, as it is today. It's probably going to happen. But there are National Guard, State National Guard being called on standby. To be ready for that to direct traffic. Okay, maybe that's true. I don't know a lot about a lot. Y'all, I'm pretty ignorant about a lot of things. So maybe that's true. I've never noticed, I've never seen that before. So that's new for me in my life. And I'm just going to chalk it up to, hmm. Yeah, like I have a little box called, hmm, that goes in there. <laughs> so, all right, y'all. That's all I have. If you need to come to Jesus, now is the time. He loves you so much. Give your life to him. I, I, whatever you got to do to prepare, prepare. Stay safe, America. This is Gina Lima Charlie. I'm out.